Welcome to another episode of Small Bike Stuff Around the World. Here we have a Honda Wave 125i, literally the king of motorcycles. I don't care what you say, I don't care what you like. This is the best bike in the world. No, I'm not, yes, I'm terribly biased. But um, seriously, this is really cool for me to see because this is made in Malaysia and mine's made in Thailand. This is a 2022 model and mine is a 2015 model, so there are some differences. So let's kick straight into it. Honda Wave 125i with a very loose train, excuse that, we've just been playing around with things. So 125 engine, fuel injected, four speed, semi-automatic, exactly the same as you see on the Honda Wave 125i from Thailand, um, but it is assembled here in Malaysia. Um, it does have PGMFI fuel injection. It's got the same head arrangement there and it's got the same uh, air intake which goes right up here under the front plastic. So yeah, engine's very much the same. On this side here, you've even got the same kind of plastic cover. Uh, you've got the kickstart there, you've got the brake. Uh, everything's just kind of exactly the same as it was. The main difference that I've seen, which isn't actually with the engine, is with the exhaust. The exhaust has a kind of wraparound shape, which mine does not. Um, I just need to move the spike. Okay. Thank you. So this exhaust has a weird wraparound, which the uh, one on mine didn't. So it's like a catalytic converter, I guess, or, or something along those lines. Uh, but otherwise, the exhaust is very, very similar to the Thai made uh, Honda Wave as well. And the Honda Wave in Thailand does look similar to this now as well, with the uh, LED lights front and rear and just a few differences compared to my older 2015 one. Onto the exciting part of wheels. So we've got the front and rear wheels which are alloys. This is Malaysia. They love alloy wheels. Um, you can get alloy wheels stock on most bikes and it's actually quite rare to see spoked wheels these days. You do get them and some of the base models do have them. It has a disc on the front much like my Wave 125 in New Zealand. Um, no ABS, no ABS at all. Tubeless tyres as well and it's got 1790-17 Pirelli Diablo Rossos and uh, Diablo Rosso Sports, which are about half, if not less, um, compared to the price in New Zealand. And there's an 1890-17 on the rear as well with this Honda-made alloy from Boon Seal Honda. One thing you'll see here is an option that in Thailand they don't have anymore, or did have for a while, but they've removed a rear disc. So this swing arm is completely different. Well, not completely different. Its box tube looks very similar. You see Boon Seal Honda, whereas mine has tie riding on the side of it. But over here, you have a master cylinder hidden up under there and a rear disc brake. So yeah, Nissan rear disc, which kind of does give it a lot better stopping abilities. And um, for me, it's just a really, really cool little feature. Uh, oh, that's right. This thing doesn't have Pirelli Double Rosso on the rear. It actually has a Michelin Pilot Sport and that's a 90, 80, 17, so a beefier, beefier tire. With a bit of a flat spot in the middle because it's done so much touring. This did not get changed, but they, uh, the owner did put a front new front on. And the owner of this actually has a Honda Monkey 125 with a 181 cc kit in New Zealand. I think it's 181, not 186. So he's familiar with these engines, but yeah, obviously a little bit different here. The Honda Wave 125i, semi-automatic compared to the manual. This one's completely stock compared to his one back in New Zealand. Controls, so the dash looks very, very similar to my Wave. It's red as opposed to the color, background color in mine, which is a little bit different. You've got your fuel gauge on the left. You've got your gear indicator selection there. You know, neutral, one, two, three, four, and it is a revolving box, so you stop in fourth. You can change through to neutral and then to first by just continuing to push down on the rocker lever here. The start button is literally just there, which is really easy to use. And then you've also got the high and low beam here, the horn, and the turn signals as well. So yeah, very basic, easy to operate. Um, there's nothing really that crazy about this. Probably the weirdest thing with the controls here is this, which is the same as my wave, push in and that clicks the seat open. So yeah, that exposes your massive underseat storage, which we will talk about very soon. Jumping onto the headlights, this is an LED headlight. And then we've got um, bulb run, no, those are turn signals, turn signals as well. And there's running lights under here, which are bulbs. So not full LED this model yet, but the headlight itself, I believe is LED. And uh, yeah, I think the tail light is possibly LED as well. My Honda Wave 125i has turn signals here and here, whereas here it's the tail light only with turn signals attached below. I'm not sure if that's a regulation thing, but it seems like a lot of the Hondas on the rear have uh, non-integrated tail lights, whereas in Thailand some of them do have integrated tail lights. No major, but just something worth pointing out. Cool little features and quirks with this machine. Well. Uh, obviously my favorite thing is the 18 liters of underseat storage on here. You can fit a full face helmet in there 
um, with a GoPro on sometimes. Sometimes you have to take the GoPro off, depends how you've got it mounted. Um, but yeah, you can fit a full face helmet in here. You know, you can fill it up with ice and chuck some cold drinks in there. Um, you know, take some sodas out and have a nice picnic somewhere with a completely cool underseat storage. However, that's probably a bit stupid because a lot of your electrics are there. Uh, the ECU, the ECU's under here and um, yeah, kind of fuel lines and everything under there. So maybe not a good idea to fill that with ice, but it is a cool idea to think about. Um, if I turn the key on, that's the fuel injection priming. So yeah, completely fuel injected. Um, 5.3 litre tank, I believe. So a pretty good capacity there. Just an all round decent machine. Um, the other quirky feature on this is one of the famous Malaysian knee baskets. If I didn't say it already, I'm in Malaysia. This is Malaysia. Um, yeah. Selamat datang. Terima kasih. It's the only two words I've learnt. Hello, or welcome, and thank you. Um, <laughs> and a few, a few of the numbers. But yeah, this is um, Satu Dua, what would that be? Lima, one, two, five, I. Yeah, see, I've learnt a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's basically exactly the same as you would expect um, the plastics on a Honda Wave 125 in New Zealand to be. Anyway, I got distracted. Someone was just driving past. This is a front basket. Now, you can get plastic ones, which are uh, more kind of... Uh, I, I like plastic ones better, is what I'm trying to say. But this is good, too. A lot of things can fall out of it, so it's not so whole, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, really cool feature nonetheless. And you can put a decent amount of stuff in there, and it's fairly sturdy. Like, you know, it's got a bit of a wobble, but the whole bike's moving as well. So as long as these bolts are done up really well, you got good knee basket storage there. This one doesn't have the ability to take a front basket, which is a bit of a shame. Mine does, so I'm aiming to have a front basket, a knee basket, and a top box on my Honda Wave 125i in New Zealand. And yeah, it'll make me pretty happy. But that's it. I've got some footage of this thing riding, so I'll throw it over the top. If you like this bike, you want to learn more about the Honda Wave, jump onto my channel. I've got a whole bunch of videos about my Honda Wave in New Zealand and this is a Boon Seal produced Honda Wave in Malaysia. Boon Seal was the guy that started Honda in Malaysia or brought it over to Malaysia and ended up kind of making his own subsidiary and that's what they call all the Hondas here, Boon Seal Hondas. There we go. Alrighty, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Small Bike Stuff.